In some of the previous tutorials, I showed you how to design and develop this theme from scratch, starting from Adobe XD to HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then converting it into a WordPress template using PHP. I didn't get the chance to do everything. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to add the pagination at the bottom of the page here. I wanted to mention that I'm using localhost for this project. I've installed XAMPP on my computer and I've started Apache in MySQL. It's just easier to work as the files are locally stored and I can just edit them super quickly. I will be using Visual Studio Code as always and I will go to File, Open Folder and I will select the folder that I'm working on which is under C, XAMPP, HTDocs, WP Content, Themes and then I've called my theme Basic WordPress Theme. So I'll select this folder which will open the project here on the left side and in my theme the blog post show on the front page so I need to open index.php and later on I will need styles.scss. Just to explain for the SCSS I'm using the LiveSass compiler which you can install from here from the extensions and I will put that to watch SCSS. This is our index page or front page of the website and this is the actual code which displays each article here. So let's add the pagination. Adding pagination on WordPress is actually extremely easy. The first thing we need to do is open PHP, close PHP and inside here we can echo. The function that we need to echo is called paginate links. Paginate underscore links. Okay, I will save the file and go back to my WordPress. Refresh. And if I scroll to the bottom, we are not yet getting the pagination. And this is because I don't actually have enough blog posts here. So what I have to do is go to my dashboard, navigate to settings, reading. And I will just set the blog pages show at most to be two. If I go back to my website, I will just get two blog posts and then the pagination will appear. So we have our pagination here and let's inspect the code. Also, let me, let me show you how the pagination works. If I click next, we get in the URL and the page number and then if I click next again it goes to three and we can click on two and so on. The next thing I want to do I want to space out the links so they fill the full width of the template and if we inspect the code quickly we'll see that we're getting some links we're getting a span for the current page and that's it. To make things a little bit neater and easier to style what I'll do is I'll go back to Visual Studio Code and I will wrap the elements, the links, the pagination links in a nav HTML element. And I will give the nav HTML element a class of pagination. Then I will close the nav. And if I save and go back to the page and inspect the code again, you will see that everything is wrapped in this nav class pagination. That will make the links easier to style. So let's go back to stylesheet.scss and don't worry if you're using just a normal CSS, it's absolutely fine. And what I'll do is I'll target the nav dot nav dot pagination and I want to convert this to a grid, so let's display grid. And what I want to do is grid, grid template columns, repeat, auto fit, min, max, and the minimum width for each column I want it to be around, let's say 10 pixels for now and the maximum to be one fraction of the space available. So if I go back, 
you will see that we're getting everything nicely spaced and if we inspect them you will see that everything is spaced equally let's now center align the text you can do this by text align center now things are started to look a little bit better and also i want to give it i want to give each element a little bit of padding but i want to give the padding to the actual links because that will make them slightly bigger and easier to hit so to do this we know that we have um, hrefs and also we know that the current link is wrapped in a span so let's target all of them and let's say padding 15 pixels top and bottom and left and right can be zero if we go back we are getting this nicely spaced out also let's try giving it a border so at the bottom here just to make things look a little bit better so i'll say border bottom one pixel solid and i will paste this color which is a very light gray this is it for this tutorial it was uh, it was a quick one i hope you liked the video if you found it useful give it a thumbs up if you have any questions comment below i post videos just like this every tuesday so make sure you click on the red subscribe button below and join me thank you very much for watching my name is Raddy, and you're watching Raddy the brand